Good evening, everyone. So, you guys can see, uh, this is currently my altar space. Um, and as you can see, or maybe you can't see, but I'll show you here in a second. I've got, uh, my apothecary is growing immensely. And I have no more room for, sh for uh, my jars anywhere. I've got jars down here in the corner. Um, I've got jars on the floor here. I've just everywhere they're everywhere I'm just like putting them wherever I can because I don't have any spaces um, and recently my daughter has been moving her room around a bunch and uh, she asked me to move a piece of furniture out of her bedroom which was a big bookshelf I don't know if you can see it behind me in the kitchen right here let me move it so this big thing right here it's a big giant bookshelf and actually it that was like the very first house I lived in by myself as an adult that bookshelf was in that house and I just took it with me and carried it through a few houses now um, but the good thing about that bookshelf is it's like height appropriate for me it's got a lot of space it's got two well technically three big shelves and a bunch of space underneath um, and a bunch of space on top so we can set our altar up so it could be at, so I'm not like bending down when I'm trying to work my spells and stuff, which I usually end up doing, or I just forego this space entirely because it doesn't fit me properly. Um, it's not height appropriate. It's just a big old mess. So I figured we could go through all this shit together and start moving it. So the first thing here, my tray from the thrift store. I love getting these silver trays for my candle work and just putting my candles on. These are my smudge wands that I've showed you guys how I made. Um, I tie feathers to crystals, mostly selenite because it's a cleansing. Um, but I like to put like hang little pieces of quartz and labradorite. This is a piece of fluorite my sister gave me. And this one is a piece of Palo Santo wood that I sanded down and um, I put some bells and a key but we're gonna move all this stuff here this is my great 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 grandmother probably don't see any resemblance this here little tray for my tiny silverware so we're gonna have to move this I hate moving this little thing because it's full of a bunch of breakable things so I have to move all these little bottles out of the shelf oh see I always end up breaking one of those in a move it's not technically a move but it's moving shit around gotta take oh this little guy down this is a little piece of bark one of you guys sent me um, sea salt from the salt water or ocean water that I gathered. We've got witch's purse, um, essential oil. This little Jaxie is going crazy playing with a uh, a little wrapper and a uh, um, pistachio I gave her. <laughs> oh, I love my cats. They're like one of my only. One of my main sources of joy, not my only. They used to be my only source of joy uh, back when my life was really sad. Oh wow, look, this is a one of those Indian, oh, those ghost pipe mushrooms. My nephew found it and gave it to me and it dried out completely and turned black when it used to be pure white. Um, and down here, I've got a box of Satya Vanilla incense. I really love this as just like an everyday um, light smell. It's like a slight sweet smell, but it's not overpowering. I've got a very sensitive nose. I got my spell candles, my little chime candles. Love those. I've got a, this is a variety pack of Satya. As you can tell, this is my favorite brand of incense, the Satya brand. This is just like a mix of different ones uh really enjoyed this so far i've got some empty jars which are 
going to need to be stored in this little box that I got from the dollar store. I got some extra um, charcoal briquettes, which I'm going to need to stock back up on soon because those look are looking empty. We've got a bunch of resin molds, which I can put in my resin drawer because I just got another uh, storage container. More chime candles that didn't fit in the jars. This little 70s type bag. And some black salt and some Charleston honey. Beautiful Charleston honey for spells. So that's everything underneath. My water is boiling really quick, so I'm going to have to get that. All right, if you guys can hear like a tumbling, I those are those... I'm tumbling some rocks right now that I, the quartz that I found up in North Carolina. Uh, but see, I've got this shelf here, but down, well, let me show you guys real quick. So down here, you can see there's just a bunch of stuff. I've got my, there's some patchouli, some candles, my herb grinder, spoons, a big ass knife. Uh, so yeah, and there's this stuff down here on the ground. So, that is why we are doing this, because definitely need more space. So, I've got to put this journal tool away. This has been the best investment in my crafts, um, is this journal tool. I use this thing constantly. And these little teeny tiny drill bits are nice, too. Okay. So we got some lemon verbena, some patchouli. This is a protection blend. We've got my um, mortar and pestle here, full of stuff. Well, patchouli and some yarrow. This coffee grinder has been the greatest thing for my herbs and my apothecary. Um, because you can grind down the plants a lot smaller into a powder thus fitting more plant into the container. So I've got a um, jar of spoons, a big bunch of tea lights. I, I love using these tea lights um, as like a quick spell. I just seen something in the corner of my eye, that was weird. I act like I didn't see that. So we've got this big stick. This is a big walking stick that I have been working on for the past while with some tumbled labradorite and a moonstone. I haven't touched that thing in quite a bit though. I'll get to it when the winter comes around and I have nothing to do. I've got back here a couple rain sticks. So this one's much more soft. This one's a lot more abrupt. Love, love rain sticks. I found these in the thrift store in Alaska. You, I, I swear you guys, Alaska has the best, absolute, the, the absolute best thrift stores. Because there's so many different types of people up there. And so the thrift stores are just an amazing, eclectic mix of stuff. Love it. I love it a lot. Okay, down here we got some, this little box of tarot cards. Okay, now we gotta move this thing. Oh, I don't like moving this guy. He is full of delicate really breakable, delicate stuff. 
So I'm just going to put him back over here in the corner. No one can mess with him. <coughs> we'll move this out of the way. I'll figure out what to do with that in a minute once we get this other thing in here. Got some empty jars, my mugwort jar, this jar that I put lemon balm in, but now I can't get it, get it out. <laughs> we have a cow bone that my nephew provided for me. And we've got this big giant knife here. Fucking beautiful. Now you can really gut someone with that. Okay, and we've got some oranges and some walnut or some, yeah, some nut shells. Um, I don't know which ones they are. And this box of candles. Okay, now let's get this big piece in here. Excuse me, Jixi. You have to watch out, baby. Jixi, watch out. Now I would in time like to paint this, but for right now, I really don't care what it looks like. And I might possibly move it somewhere else because the light switch is right here and I don't want to have to reach down behind the light switch a bunch. So when I get this all set back up, I'll come back and show you guys what everything looks like. Okay, I got it all set up and you could tell Jaxie is digging the energy. She loves it. So we've got the candle box down there with the two boxes of incense. Uh, empty jars to the left. We've got some lavender and heather in the center and my thing of crystals. That's just an old candle holder um, that I got at the thrift store. And then up here we have got chime candles and all of my herbs that didn't have a place. I've got some gum arabic back here so I can make my own incense. And then at the top, I'm loving this new setup. Um, I've got, so I've got my spoons. I've got a bone here. Uh, cauldron on each side. We've got smaller one over there. We've got sacred shield oil. Sacred shield oil. Um, Palo Santo. Small mortar and pestle. My bells on each side candles we've got the gold and silver as well as the black and white candles and one candle in the center and we've got my selenite tower back there and i moved a couple things over here is my feather collection those two as well as this guy this big bunch and that i've got a ton of feathers i need to start making more crafts with them but I found these beautiful duck feathers. Um, and I always, as soon as I bring my feathers home, I soak them in hot, soapy water with dish soap. I use like the Dawn dish soap so that they are fully clean and fully like, you know, uh, sanitized. So there's like nothing gross on the feather or anything. And so it's really nice and poofy and beautiful. Uh, but yeah. And you can see back here, all my herbs, so many herbs. I've got barks hanging in little bags right here. Oils. Um, I actually want to move my oil cabinet from my bedroom in here. Um, the only reason I moved it into my bedroom was when my nephew came to live with me. But now that that's not ha a thing anymore, I can move it back in here. I just have to find some place to hang it up on the wall to and make sure it's like really secure or I might just set it on top of this I don't know it's like its own little cabinet um yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed 
this uh, setting up this new altar space. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I love you guys.